barefoot Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so this is my first vlog back since the whole miscarriage happened and first and foremost I just want to get on here and say thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for all of the sweet comments and all of the support that you guys have given me it is beyond like overwhelming but in a good way I knew sharing like my story would like help me um, just to open up get it out there and I knew that so many women unfortunately would relate um, and it would help them too but I had no idea like how much uh, it would help me like just reading through all the comments and hearing from all of you guys and just like the support that I've been shown has honestly helped me tremendously I'm not just saying that letting you guys know the full story of what happened with the miscarriage and like all of that was the best decision for me no doubt so I'm so happy that I shared that with you guys and I just wanted to say thank you so much for being there I honestly feel like you guys are truly my friends I know we don't know each other personally but honestly I feel like I have the best seriously the best freaking support system ever with you guys you guys know me you know my ups you know my downs and you guys are always there for me and the comments are just ridiculously sweet and so helpful and so therapeutic for me to read um, and to all of y'all who have been through this who have had a miscarriage or anything like that happen um, I am so deeply sorry you're in my prayers you're in my thoughts um, and it just it just sucks it just does um, but life goes on and we have to just you know make it through and keep pushing and you know there are better days ahead just again thank you so so much for being there for me my mom is actually leaving tomorrow she's been here for the past I don't know two to three weeks now she came as soon as like we found out that the baby you know may not make it she flew down here to be with me and just to help out take care of the kids and all that which I mentioned in my last vlog so she has been such a big help I'm so used to her being here now and um, it's gonna be so just weird that she's leaving so today is her last day um, well tomorrow's her last day she leaves tomorrow afternoon but today's her last full day and um, I actually was able to squeeze in a little hair appointment before she left um, my hair always takes like a really long time to get done usually I need like someone to help out with the kids for like hours you know but I found a place who could like squeeze me in and I needed a touch-up so bad like my grays were crazy um, I wanted to like freshen up the color and like the blonde and the balayage and all that so I went to a cute new little place and they did an amazing job but yeah I literally just left so this is like my new hair and I think it looks so good. She did an amazing job blending everything. She covered up all the grays. So she did like a full like root touch up, I think it's called. And then she did the balayage and she toned it. She gave it a little snip. Looks so healthy to me and it looks so pretty. So I'm like obsessed. I love it. And she said it would be really easy for me to grow out too. Like that's why I love the balayage because you don't, it's like so low maintenance. You don't have to keep going back in like every, you know, four to six weeks. I'll probably just go back in now just for the root touch up to cover up my grays but yeah love it so I just left the hair appointment and I'm gonna head home I think my mom and I might try and head to home goods and probably a few other home decor stores honestly like my mom has been helping me so I can't wait to show you guys some of the things that we've done but she's been helping me so much with the house we completely reorganized the fridge like it's incredible can't wait to show you guys that um, we've kind of half done the pantry. The pantry needs a lot more work, but I have to order a lot more of like organization bins and stuff for the pantry, but we've done a lot to it. So I'll show you guys kind of what we've done. And my mom has just been helping with everything. I am not the most organized person. So she has been like cleaning everything and helping me like put things in bins and like all of that. So it feels good to have all that stuff organized. Also, I refreshed the patio. My patio was like a hot mess. I had ordered patio furniture. I don't know, like back in the fall and my patio furniture is like super tiny my mom makes fun of me because she's like what is this for like little kids like it's it, the set was like 250 dollars from home depot and i didn't want to spend more than that because i was already spending so much money on like furniture and like just decorating the house so i ended up like cheapening out on the patio furniture and i wish i didn't do that i wish i had gotten like good patio furniture but whatever that's where we are and i'm not you know we're just gonna work with what we have so my mom helped me completely like transform my patio we got a rug i got like cute little plants we bought some flowers like fresh flowers pillows for the patio furniture 
I bought string lights, which Alex still has to hang up. And then I bought some tiki torches, which we have to put out. But it's looking so freaking cute and I'm so excited. I have a couple girlfriends um, coming to visit me in like two weeks. So I really wanted the patio just to be like really cute so we can hang out and like, you know, chill and have wine and like, you know, put the fire on and all of that. So it's really getting there and I can't wait to show you all that. Switched out the planner for my fiddle leaf tree. I took back the Target like woven one um, and I found something else at the at home store which oh my gosh I can't believe I've never been to an at home store before a lot of y'all recommended for me to go shopping there and I didn't realize there was one close to me so I went there I've been there with my mom like twice now and I like can't get enough of that store they have so many good things also I have been adding a few things to the guest room um, so I got like a cute little faux tree for the guest room I want to get a TV for the guest room and have Alex like hang it up like a like a flat screen um, on the wall but I haven't done that yet and then I ne need to find a cute like picture or maybe two vertical pictures that I can hang like above the bed oh I got new curtains for the guest room I'll show you guys all this when I get home yeah my mom and I have been keeping busy and it just feels good to finally get things done around the house that I've been wanting to get done but have just been kind of like holding off on okay sorry about that my um, camera overheated in the car and shut off so I am home now. Actually, when I got home, it is much later in the day, but my mom and I took the boys up to Home Goods. I had to return something, and then I picked up a little planter for a faux tree that I got for the guest room. I'll show you guys. Went to Hobby Lobby, got like a really cute welcome sign for the front porch and some outdoor pillows for the rocking chairs on our front porch. And then I got a new candle from Kirkland's because those are my favorite candles. There, I got like a blueberry lemon muffin something it smells so good so anyway we just got like a few things done I wanted to share with you guys because I hadn't had my surgery in my last vlog but I did get a D&E which is a dilation and evacuation so it is similar to a DNC but they use a vacuum which I think I explained in my last vlog um, so I did have that done last Wednesday so it's been almost a week now um, I'm feeling much better. I'm feeling kind of back to myself, not completely, but like I'm getting there. I've been having pretty bad headaches recently and I think maybe I'm just dehydrated. Um, and then I still get nauseous here and there, which is bizarre, but I'm thinking it's just like my hormones. Other than that, my energy is coming back. Thank goodness. I was, for the past week, I've just been like a zombie. I've been so tired, um, but I'm getting my energy back and I'm feeling like more like myself every day. So other than that, I still am bleeding. I have been bleeding a lot. It's hopefully getting lighter. I mean, I still feel like it's pretty like heavy for it being a week past my surgery, um, but it's not like heavy enough that I'm like worried about it, if you know what I mean. It's just kind of like annoying just to still have this bleeding going on um, because I feel like at this point I've been bleeding for like over a month every single day. So um, I will be happy when that stops, but it's definitely been emotional. Um, but physically I'm doing better. Emotionally I am doing better, especially just having my mom here has helped so much. But yeah, I just wanted to give you an update that I did have the surgery um, and it went as well as I guess it could go. So weird because they put you under under anesthesia. So I was like fully out um, and then the whole like procedure happened. And then afterwards I like woke up and it was just like, like such a weird, I can't even explain it. Like if you haven't had it done, it's hard to explain, but it's just such a weird feeling that like you go in there with a baby in your belly and then you come out without one. It's just like bizarre. And yeah, I am going to finish up making the boys dinner and then I will probably show y'all like the patio and stuff. I've got this cute mat from at home. It says home sweet home and it's kind of dirty right now but I like that it was like longer for the steps um, and then bought this bucket to throw all the boys toys in but still need to kind of figure something else out because it's already filled up um, okay so this is where we put the furniture I got this outdoor rug at at home and then like I told you guys this outdoor patio set is from like Home Depot if they still have it in stock I'll link it down below it was like 250 bucks so did not spend a lot of money on it but I mean I think it looks cute and the chairs are pretty comfortable honestly so I got these four pillows from at home and I think they look really good here and then I grabbed this plant from there as well which I love this faux plant I think it's so cute um, and then got our citronella candle this is from that magnolia brand at Target I'm not really sure why it's like black smoke coming off the wicks right now is that normal I don't know I don't even know if you guys can see that but it's like black smoke <laughs> 
Um, and then I got this cute little cactus plant. This is like a real plant. I don't remember where I got this. It, it might have been from like Lowe's or something. I don't know, but it's so cute. Um, so that is the little setup for right there. And then I got um, these four tiki torches that Alex has to set up. But what I'm gonna do is put them behind this little wall right here. So I'll put like one, two, three, four, like right behind it, which I think is gonna look so good. And then up here is where we're gonna do the um, string light. So I think I'm gonna hang like one right there, one right here, one right here, and then maybe across there as well. I'm not really sure. This is a cute little tomato plant that my mom and Cam have been growing since she came. It's so cute. Um, and then my mom and I grabbed these flowers from Lowe's as well as those. Um, and then we just have them in these like little plastic planners, but I wanna get like some cute like ceramic planners for out here. I just haven't gotten them yet, but I wanna get like two matching ones right here. And then we just stuck these cute little American flags in there as well. These kind of like aren't doing too well right now. So I hope they like get prettier. I am, you guys, I'm so bad at plants. Like I literally kill all plants. So I was a bit nervous to get these, but my mom said they're pretty low maintenance. So hopefully I don't kill them but I think once they bloom and like get bigger and grow a little bit, I think they're gonna be really pretty out here next to the fireplace. Um, and then I think that's about it. I grabbed this little plastic watering can <laughs> to water my new plants with. Yeah, I think that's about it, but I just think it looks so much better, you guys, than it did before. Like I used to have everything just kind of bunched up under like this little terrace area. I don't know what it's called. Um, and my mom was like, you need to like put the furniture out here and actually set it up. So I'm super excited for my girlfriends to come and be able to like chill out here and have wine and hopefully we can get those tiki torches set up soon and the string lights. And those are the neighbors that like to party all night long. What's wrong, honey? Huh? You wanna see yourself? Can you say hi? <laughs> You're so cute. Okay hey guys, so I wanted to show you what we've done with the pantry. It's looking so much better. It's definitely not finished. I need to get a lot more like containers and organizers, but for now it's like a million times better, better than it was. So I'll just kind of show you what we did. Like paper stuff we put down here and then I have like paper plates and stuff for like little parties or whatever. Some box stuff, uh, marinara sauce, waters, and then these are like it's kind of like a mix of like canned stuff, like tuna and then um, some more sauce, syrup, like peanut butter, a bunch of random stuff. I actually recently started trying these out. My girlfriend uses this in her coffee, but it's keto friendly and I got the caramel flavor and it's really good. I picked it up at Sam's Club. So I'll like mix it with my cold brew in the morning with ice and it is very good. So been liking that. Um, had to just kind of like stick the avocados in here because I don't really have counter space for them right now because I have so much fruit out. Well, let's see. Yeah. So I have just like packets of sauces and spices, um, some like rice back here. And then these are like kids bars and different like protein bars and things like that. Um, some more sauces back here. And then I got these containers. I bought like a whole set from Sam's Club. I wish I had actually bought two because we could have used more, but I have, are these the prunes, mom? Yes. You put the prunes in here. Oh my God. <laughs> prunes are in here. Um, and then some like cereal, pasta, crackers, chocolate chips and some other like snacks and pasta here. Um, and then this is like just a bunch of keto stuff that I'm trying out like different crackers and I haven't tried these just yet, but yeah. Um, and then on this shelf got like a bunch of coffee. I bought this massive thing from Sam's Club. This has just like chips in it um, and just like some more snacks, kids juice, more little, or these like little applesauce packs for the kids, Ritz crackers. And then this is just like nuts, pretty much, yeah. And then we've just got some like wine. How cute is this bottle? I found it at Trader Joe's. I love this for the 4th of July. Such a pretty bottle, but up here is just like random candy. I need to figure out how to organize all this stuff. These are like Halloween buckets. Um, and then some granola, some crackers and cereal, which I definitely want to get like more of these so that I can put all the cereal in there so you can kind of see it. I just feel like it looks so much better that way. Um, I've got my orange tree back there, which I need to find a place for and some more like almonds and random stuff up there. So it's definitely not perfect, but it is much, much better and way more organized than it was before.
Okay, so here is the refrigerator. It is so much better than it was before. I wish I had a like a before of everything, but um, I don't. I did not take a picture or anything. So I just have like the juice and milk, heavy cream and like creamer, stuff like that on the top shelf. And then this shelf, I got these little bins. Um, I'll link them down below, but it was like a set of, I think eight, and it came with all different sizes. So there's like the big ones, medium size, and then the smaller ones. So in the smaller ones, we just put like yogurt and like little smoothie snacks. Back here, I just have like some containers. I think it's pickles and salsa. The Greek yogurt's back here, and then my little two good keto yogurts are here. And then I've got just like dips and cream cheese. Over here is the bin of cheese, so like Parmesan, mozzarella, shredded, just like all different cheeses in there. And then down here we have like a huge container of berries. This, I didn't know where to put this, so I just stuck it right there, but it's the spicy jalapeno chicken sausage from Trader Joe's. It's so good if you like cook it up with eggs or make like a breakfast burrito. Here is just some things in like Pyrex, so like mac and cheese that I put away and um, some baby tomatoes. And then I put the bread back here. I know some people don't refrigerate their bread. I think like my mom thinks I'm weird, but I always do because I feel like it keeps it more fresh. Let me know down below in the comments if you refrigerate your bread or if you put it in like a bread drawer. <laughs> but I've got like the naan back there, the whole wheat bread for the boys, and then my sola bread that I eat um, for keto. And then down here, just like more fruit. So we just put some apples and oranges in this bin. Um, here is just some mango that I picked up. This is, oh, there goes my fridge telling me to close the door. Here is some cut up cantaloupe and then down here is just like some chocolate covered strawberries that were sent to me. Um, and then in the back, I usually will put like the raw meat, like the chicken or whatever, steak, whatever's back there. Um, and then in this drawer, it's a mix. So we did put some vegetables over here and then we also like keep beer. I think this is actually the vegetable drawer, but it was completely packed, so my mom threw some in there. But this is where we keep all of like salad mixes and all the other vegetables. We also organized the door, so I threw out a lot of things that were like expired. Um, but up here is just like some of the butter and then one of those premier drinks. Um, this is like some collagen I'm trying out. Um, that a friend sent to me. And then down here is just like sauces, jellies, you know, all the jarred good stuff on the side. And then down here, it's just like some wine and, you know, drinks for the kids and sauces and stuff like that. So the door is actually not that organized, but since I did throw out a ton of stuff that was just like super old, I feel like it's so much better. And here's the freezer, which we actually did throw out a ton of stuff and like reorganize everything, but it still looks like a hot mess. I feel like your freezer can never really look good, but breakfast stuff at the top and then just like frozen dinners and appetizers, things like that. Down here is like all of my Blendtopia keto smoothie mixes. Um, and then just like, I picked this up at Trader Joe's cause I'm having girlfriends come and I thought this would be like a fun little appetizer. Um, some frozen bread back here. And then back here is just like popsicles and a bunch of ice cream and some frozen cheesecake. So yeah, that is everything. So I wanted to show you guys the front porch, a little refresh that I did. You guys have seen these little chairs and this table set. I got this from Target when we first moved here, um, but I just picked up these really cute pillows from Kirkland's and they had a couple different colors. These are so cute and they're perfect for summer or fall. Um, and then I got this canister from At Home and then these faux flowers also from At Home, which I think looks so cute. And then I also picked up this welcome sign. This is from Kirkland's, which is seriously one of my favorite stores for home decor. Like they just have the prettiest stuff and it always smells so good in that store. And then I still have this. I need to clean this off. This is a mess, but this is from Amazon. It is so dirty. And then this is from the Magnolia brand at Target. But yeah, that is everything for the front porch. And I just think it looks so cute. Okay, so I think it's been a while since I showed y'all the guest room. Um, but I am trying to just add a few little touches to it. So picked up these really pretty pictures from Kirkland's and I think they're like perfect for this room and for like all of the colors, like this clay color that I have going on. 
I think it looks really good. So I'm gonna have to have Alex hang those right above the bed. And I'm pretty sure I've like shown some of this stuff before. This I think is from Amazon, these little nightstands. Kirkland's lamp. And then these I picked up from at home. And then I put one on that side as well. Bedding is all from Target, except for this. I think this is from Home Goods. At some point, I definitely do want to like paint this bed. The bed is so old and the wood is just obviously like faded. So I'd love to paint it white or something at some point, but for now it's fine. Then I switched out the curtains, the curtains I had before from Amazon and they were like a kind of a darker taupe and they were way too short. These curtains are obviously too long, but they were the only length that they had left at Target and I really love them. They're from the Magnolia brand again, like everything else in this room. And I think that I can probably have someone just kind of like take up a little bit here so that they're not so long. And then this rug, I don't remember where this is from, but I will try to link it down below if I can find it. This is the rug that originally I was gonna use for my bedroom. If you guys remember that vlog when we first moved in, I bought it for our master bedroom and it ended up just not working with the rest of the decor in there. So I brought it up here and I'm like obsessed with it up here. I feel like it looks so good. Um, and then that mirror was left from the previous owner. And then this wall is a hot mess, but I will show you. So there's already like a hole in there and everything to mount a TV because there used to be a TV in here. I wanna get a new flat screen TV and hang it up there for our guests. Um, and then I picked up this cute little tree from Home Goods, as well as the little planter, which it fits perfectly and I love it. I think that looks so cute in the corner right there, just to like warm up the room a little bit. That is what we have going on right now for the guest room. And again, TV will be hung up there. And then I think over here, actually I'm gonna get some kind of like tall, small dresser over there. I feel like I need to put some kind of dresser in here. And I don't think there's really enough room to put one like under a TV right there, so. Um, and then over here, I'll just show you the little half bath. It's not really half bath, there's like a full bathroom in here. It's just the Jack and Jill that connects to Quentin's room. So yeah, I got this little cute faux plant from at home. Got some zest room spray, this smells so good. And then this cute little like soap dispenser from Target. Okay, some more little updates. I picked up these faux yellow peonies from Target. And I got four because they didn't have any more, but I actually just found two more online. So I got two more to fill up um, the space. I think it's gonna look really pretty. And then this candle I got from Kirkland's. You guys, if you have a Kirkland's, go pick this up. It's probably my favorite candle like ever. I know I've said that before, but it's lemon blueberry bread. And it's like perfect for summer because it's not like overly sweet but it does have like that fresh lemon scent and then a little bit of like that bakery scent. So it's like the perfect mix. Um, I actually bought a second one too because I wanted a backup because I'm not obsessed with it. So definitely go find this candle or maybe you can find it online. I'll try and see if I can link this. Um, and then this candle I've had for a really long time from Target, but I just thought it looked pretty like filling up this tray. And this is the little cutter thing for the candle. So pop these in. And then this is my faux fiddle leaf tree that I shared before. Um, I got it from QVC. It's like a seven foot one. It's huge, but it's so pretty and I love how it fills this corner. But I had been looking for a planter for a while and if y'all have been watching my vlogs, you saw that I got the like the basket, like the woven basket one from Target. Um, I ended up switching it out. So I returned that and I got this kind of like ceramic gray one. It's really pretty from, where is this from? I think this is from at home. And then I bought like the green kind of like moss stuff to put in and I think it looks so much better than the basket it was in before. Okay, and then I picked up this cute little faux like bouquet of flowers for the coffee table. I just thought it looked really cute here and I love the colors of it. This is from Hobby Lobby actually. Um, and then the last little thing for my living room I picked up was this. This is so cute, but I don't know what to do with it. Like, it, am I supposed to fill it with like pompous grass or like leaves or something? Or can you just kind of leave it blank? So I'm kind of thinking of putting like pompous grass because I love that look. And I have a lot of greenery kind of going on anyway in this room, so I don't really want to add any green leaves to it. But let me know what you think down below. My mom kind of just likes it as is but I think it's really pretty over here. Um, and this is from Home Goods. They had a few different kinds too. Definitely check out Home Goods because I feel like lately they've had like some really, really cute home decor in there. Okay, so one more thing that I do need to find, I've been looking for all over and I haven't been able to find something, but I, I need like a really pretty centerpiece for my breakfast nook table because I have like this um, chandelier that kind of like hangs low. So I don't want something too tall, but I do want something with a little bit of height. Um, I just kind of threw this over here right now. I don't really know where I'm gonna end up putting all of this stuff, but I wanted to show you this gorgeous tray I found at, at home. 
you guys, that store is like the best. I'm so happy that I discovered it. Um, yeah, at home. So it is made out of mango wood and it's just like the prettiest tray ever. I actually bought it so that I can um, kind of bring it outside when I have my girlfriends and we're hanging out on the patio and put it on the little coffee table with like some drinks or like chips and dip or whatever. Just because that coffee table out there is just like really wobbly and you can't really, I mean, you can put a drink on it, but it might spill, if you know what I mean. So I wanted something a little sturdy. So I found this tray and I'm in love with it. It is just like the prettiest thing ever. So I am actually about to jump in the shower. I forgot to mention that after my D and E, I actually, my doctor prescribed me Cytotec or it's also called like miso, misoprostol and probably Completely butchering that but there's another ter um, word for it too but anyway it's a medication that you take that you can actually take after you have a miscarriage to um, kind of get all of that tissue and everything out you can take it to kind of speed up the process and so that was one of my options and I did obviously I chose surgery but what I wasn't expecting was that my doctor was going to recommend for me to take the pills anyway after surgery. So after I was done, he told me that he wanted to take, he wanted me to take the side attack just to get all of that extra, any like remaining tissue or anything like that out. And he said it actually will help with like keeping me from hemorrhaging because I do know that you can still hemorrhage after you have a D and E or a DNC. And I was nervous about that and I had asked him about that and he said that he wanted me to take the Cytotec anyway just to make sure that I get like, that everything comes out. So after I had the D and E, I took the Cytotec for two days and wow, the pain was like on another level. The cramps were crazy. It caused diarrhea, which was not fun. And then also like my uterus was shrinking back to like pre-pregnancy size, I guess. So I was also like, I guess having contractions is what they told me at the hospital. And so for the, like, I want to say for the three days after my DNE, it was pretty painful. And I just want to let ink you know, if anyone's watching this because they're trying to figure out like, you know, what to expect because they have to get one. I was in a lot of pain, but I think mostly it was because I had to take the prescription. But I feel like most people who have had this surgery have not taken, like my friends who have had a DNC before, I asked them if they had to take the Cytotec after their surgery and they said no. So I don't know why my doctor prescribed it to me, but I took it because like he's the doctor and I'm not. So, and I, again, he said that it would help prevent the hemorrhaging, which is what I wanted. So I don't know. I don't know if that's like normal to take that after or if it's not, but I think the reason that I was in a lot of pain the few days following my surgery was because of that medication that I had to take. It took me a while to get like back to normal and I'm still not. If you have had the surgery and you wanna let me know down in the comments if you had to take the Cytotec or Misoprostol, Prostol, um, whatever it's called, let me know. I'm just really curious um, as to why he wanted me to take it. But I guess it's because of the hemorrhaging aspect and I didn't hemorrhage, I did bleed a lot. That's the update with that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the shower and then I'm gonna just like catch up on Siesta Key. I ended up just getting season four on Amazon Prime, so I'm watching that right now. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna help my mom just pack up and everything and spend like the last half of the day or the first half of the day with my mom before she leaves. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys in my next vlog.